Hello everyone, a very warm welcome to my channel Petty Tin Curvy. I'm Coco. I am a 4 foot 11 inches tall <laughs> petite and curvy blogger from London. In this video, I'm going to share with you ideas on styling a maxi dress. Maxi dresses are absolutely amazing for petite and curvy women because they draw the eye from the neck to the floor, making us look slightly taller. <laughs> Um, the dress that I'm going to use today is a wrap style dress and it has a slit. When you go out and buy your own maxi dresses, uh, there's just a little recommendation that I'd like to give at the beginning, uh, which is that go for v-neck or wrap style like, like this one. Uh, wrap styles help elongate the neck and they also accentuate the curls, so they are great for um, petite and curvy women. My top tip is to go for max dresses with slits if you can find them um, because sometimes all the fabric that's there in maxi dresses can tend to overwhelm a petite body frame. Let's talk about the one that I'm going to show you today. This is a great maxi dress. It has a wrap style and it has a slit. It also has a waist belt. So three, com three things that are absolutely perfect for petite and curvy women. So I've created different kinds of looks with this maxi dress, starting with how you can style it in a slightly cooler weather to how you can style it in the summer. One of the ways you can style a maxi for a slightly cooler weather, like for example, these days it's quite sunny and at the same time, it's really cold <laughs> outside in the mornings and the evenings. So if I were to wear this, uh, in this weather, then I would wear a slightly warmer scarf over it and tie it with a nice statement belt as I have done in this look. <laughs> so I always like to uh, combine different colors, red and black are red, black and white, these are classic colors. So because this is um, a white and black uh, maxi, I have opted for a slightly deep red um, scarf to go along with it and also similar or matching shoes um, and a matching handbag so this sort of creates a nice curated look if you were to style this sort of a maxi dress in a slightly cooler sort of a weather <laughs> a great thing about this dress is that you can layer it so for example uh, in in this video I wore uh, a black camisole inside the dress. So sometimes wrap styles can be slightly more revealing <laughs> that you, than you would want them to be. So I tend to wear camisoles inside um, wrap tops or dresses depending on what sort of look uh, I'd like to go for. So if you wanted to feel like really sexy and also if you wanted to wear this dress to uh, a date night for example or just um, you know during extreme heat you could wear it as is but if you wanted to layer it and if it was slightly cooler you could wear a camisole or another top with it so as i said in the first part i wore a black camisole underneath and in this look i'm going for a white high neck bodysuit again all the layers that i go for i tend to match them with the colors on the maxi so so the reason i chose this one it's a black and white so again a very sort of classic <laughs> uh, colorway and you can pair so many things with a black and white dress. So I opted for a white high neck bodysuit and white boots and my and my Louis Vuitton bag along with it. Another look that you can create with this maxi dress is a rock check look and what I've done is I have paired this dress with my uh, black boots and uh, a biker jacket <laughs> along with a black handbag. I, I like to create these very curated kind of looks where where a lot of things need to match each other um, and then I just put like one bold color sometimes to create that kind of a statement. You could also style this dress for a going out look. So for instance I um, changed the belt uh, that was originally there with it with my Gucci belt. You could also use any other belt uh, with uh, a gold or a silver buckle 
um, depending on the other accessories that you've got. So here I chose my Gucci belt and with this I um, got my other gold accessories and jewelry and I also opted for a gold handbag. So I matched the different accessories here and this is for a more um, a, a party kind of a look, uh, slightly more semi-formal uh, than the previous ones, except for the one where I styled it with the scarf. <laughs> If you were to wear this dress to a supermarket, you could also do that just by simply pairing it with your sneakers and your denim jacket and a shopper bag or a crossbody, whatever you prefer. So I can't say this is my most favorite look, but I just wanted to show you the versatility of this dress. So it can be styled in a very, very casual way as well. Another way you can style it is by choosing to wear different colored accessories. For example, in this look, I opted for fuchsia pink, <laughs> footwear and handbag. And that just contrasts with the black and white, making it look very elegant and very chic. Uh, again, as you can see, I'm wearing my black camisole with it. You could not wear the black camisole or you could also wear a fuchsia pink camisole inside. Um, so you would have you would have different options uh, depending on the occasion. You also don't need to go for similar colored accessories. In the last look, I paired this dress with red shoes and a gold bag. So you could also mix and match and see gold, black and white and red. These are very classic colors and you could you can pair them all together. Uh, they look absolutely gorgeous and that is what you could do. This is how I style this gorgeous maxi dress. It's a perfect size for petites like me. If you are interested in buying maxi dresses, I have created a list for you uh, showing different options for maxi dresses. I'm not sure if the one that I've worn uh, in this video is still available, but I have handpicked um, several styles that will be perfect for petite and curvy women. So if your body shape is somewhat like mine, all these styles that I have picked out will suit you. <laughs> I hope you like this video. Uh, and if you have any questions or any suggestions about the kind of videos you'd like to see, uh, please put them in the description box below. That's really helpful for me uh, in order to plan my content and also to create content that you are interested in. If you haven't subscribed already, please subscribe to this channel. If you like the video, then please press the thumbs up button. Have a great day, everybody. I will see you in the next video.